Hey folks, how's it going? Uh, good news, today is our last lesson in our mythology unit in terms of building up and our final project that goes with it. And I think it's one that is, uh, is pretty good. Um, I'm guessing it's one you guys have also heard of before, so that should make things a little bit easier. Um, and most importantly, it, it also ties into one of our favorite events, which is current events. Um, and nowadays that feels particularly important, especially since we're all scrounging for news that isn't all 100% COVID-19 related. In any case, the focus of today's myth, um, another one from our buddies the Greeks here, is Pandora's Box. Now, you guys have all probably heard of this myth. Um, it is the, uh, essentially Cole's notes is that uh, Pandora opens a box um, and inside are a lot of pretty terrible things and they get out into the world. And the big twist, of course, is that at the end, underneath all the other terrible things that come out, um, is one other thing. Do you know what it is? I, uh, I'm waiting for an answer, but obviously you cannot speak to me through your TV screen or your phone screen here. Um, it is uh, hope, right? And it is the thing that allows people to endure in the face of all the bad things that happen in the world. And so right now, as we're all trapped in our various houses dealing with COVID, um, one thing that might keep us going is hope that eventually, and we kind of can be fairly certain of this, that things will get back to a, a new normal afterwards and that we can move on. Um, really, I think if something like this happened to the Greeks, there's a pretty good chance they would have a myth trying to explain how it came to be. In any case, a lot of you guys did some really nice work with your creation myths as well as your Pantheon projects. I'm still waiting on a few of those to come in, but that's all right. But just be aware, as I said at the start of the video, we're going to do this Pandora's box thing. Um, there's a short project that goes with it. And then uh, we're going to be pretty much ready to move on to our final social studies unit as well. And then it'll be all inquiry project all the time because we really only have uh, about a month left of like classes, right? So uh, we're kind of getting to the end here, which is exciting. We're getting towards summer. And even though it's been a weird end of the year, hey, summer. Yeah, can't go wrong with that, right? In any case, let's jump over here to... There we go, Pandora's box. So uh, obviously when you get this assignment, this video will be posted up at the top here, but it's just a short story. Um, it's got lots of pictures, which everybody likes, right? So uh, this kind of explains the story of Pandora's box. And you might kind of know it, the basics of the story, but you'll definitely need to take a read of it. Now, when you're finished with that, and, I, and I'm not even gonna ask you, you'll notice here, there's no requiring to annotate or anything like that on this particular story. You can if you'd like to, it never is a bad thing, but you're not required to do it. Um, then you're gonna jump down to 3.4a and you'll find this Pandora's box project. I'll let you read over it more specifically, but the big takeaway is this part right here. What evils might be contained within Pandora's box if it existed today? And what is the hope that we have that would allow us to combat those evils, right? So we know that Pandora unwittingly opens this box and out comes things like disease and war and hatred and all these other negative things. And they are obviously a big problem for the Greeks, <laughs> just like they are for us today. But at the bottom is hope. And that's what allows her and others to, inter uh, to continue and endure in the face of all of these things. So the very simple version of what you guys are going to do here is because we English teachers would like that rule of three, you're going to make your own Pandora's box. Now, if we were in class, um, in the past, we literally made little boxes and you would put symbols uh, of these different events and situations in them. Because we're doing this online, you guys will just be able to post it right on here. Um, but really, you're gonna try to find two symbols that represent evils in the world and one symbol representing hope. And this right now in section two here is the connection to our current events pieces here. You're gonna use news stories to illustrate these things. So basically you have to find two negative articles that sum up a problem that we face in the world or show rather a problem that we face in the world. So it could be disease. I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of those, but other things like war or prejudice or injustice or anything that you think is an evil that affects our modern world. And then you have to find one article that shows hope in the world, shows humanity overcoming or something along those lines. And then you're just gonna make a simple report. And the report is just gonna be right on this page. You don't have to do anything super fancy. Um, you're going to explain each of your articles, the two negative ones and the positive one. And you must try to find a symbol that represents each of these things. So if you decide to find a story about war, 
Um, your symbol could be something like a sword or a red flag or something else that you feel really exemplifies war. And what you're going to be showing me with this is your ability to find and, uh, and research current events. You're going to be showing me your ability to recognize and uh, make use of symbolism. And uh, you will also be doing a little bit of writing as part of this as well. So um, short report, it can just be in a response format. Um, or if you'd like to keep working on your video editing skills, you can do like a vlog on it as well. Um, just make sure you provide me the links to all three articles and that you do a short, very short, one paragraph write up for each of the articles. Um, Cause yeah, it doesn't have to be, I'm not gonna give you a specific worksheet to fill this out. Just use this 3.4a page, which is the one we're looking at right now, as like a landing page where you can put all the things you find. So links to articles, explanations and analysis of the article and the symbol that you think represents that particular evil or hopeful thing in the world. And as always, if you have any questions about this or anything else, uh, please send me an email. Looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with here. And I feel like the current event side of this will kind of set in motion or set the stage for our final unit on the social studies side, which will be about justice, uh, legal justice and all that. So yeah. Lots to, uh, lots to finish up here, and uh, with that said, um, try to get this stuff done here in the next couple days, and start uh, finalizing your topics for inquiry project if you haven't already done so, or finalizing research. A lot of you guys have emailed me this week with updates about that, and that's fantastic. Um, so yeah, we'll talk soon, and uh, hope you guys are having a great week. Talk soon. Bye.